I like that back window. Isn't it oh, cool? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. And the roof, too. Yeah, that's a little heavy over there. Yep, and a 29 International. Can and I stand on yep. that? Yep. Good. And then a Maple Leaf beyond that. You know what a maple leaf is? Truck? Yeah, it's a Canadian Chevy. Canadian Chevy. Ooh. And there's this here. One of my friends is going to use the back end of it for a rat rod. That's Patrick's part truck. Yeah, part's part's truck. car. He liked the quarter pals and everything, so that'll be kind of cool. He'll probably move the doors back and weld them to him so he's got a little longer box on it. My brain's just twirling. <laughs> <laughs> I got this because of, I got this off a friend who wanted it off his property. Yeah. And he sold on the property. So then my brother found this, so now I got two of them. I'm going to have to build one of these. Sounds good to me. Good. Good forward. It's got some hot rod brakes here, I see. Yeah, the race cars. The wide five pattern. Lots of late model stuff. Yep, and there's a flathead. We just, I'm not even sure what we pulled it out of. I've got like 14 of them. 14 flatheads? Yeah. Plus Three. assorted parts. Just in case. Yeah. Well, they're not. He's got a garage on the other side of town that's heated full of engines. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. It's actually two minutes away. So I went to a cruise night. Like, now, would you? Yeah. Is this a love machine? That's <laughs> for girl racers. That's the rims they buy. So someone... Yeah, they're, they're manufactured on purpose. Yeah. Okay. I, I bought them at a swap meet. Where's Joanna? See the rims? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely girl on the Bugatti. There you go. Oh, they're, not yeah. pink, they're not pink anymore. <laughs> this is a friend, some friend of mine's uh, Fargo panel. That's cool. That could be cool. We're going to see if we're going to build a firm or we're going to Yeah, they're unique. Yeah, they are. I went to Cruise Night one day. A fellow comes up to me and says, Do you want a free car? And I said, Yes. He said, I haven't told you what it is yet. I said, I don't care. This is the car. Wow. 56 Cadillac Leaf. Before the Hudson, this was the one Joanna claimed for her own. Like just pushing like it. it around the yard, she likes it. I like the quarter panels on it. Yeah, they're huge. I, well, just the tail. I you got to build the cheap and strong beds. <laughs> I, 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 I got one of those, actually. I like, I like these. Yeah. Yep. They're, they're nice on a custom. On anything. Yeah. I like this. I like and the, the way Baker the, nice the way it is. I don't want to change it. I got a 59 yeah. silver hawk, so. Okay. Hey, Chad, if you, you, this if you like this one? No, yeah. it's a new one. You're going to love that one. Oh yeah, it's a flower cool. car. 1952 Cadillac flower car. <laughs> so it came that way? It was built at a, at a company that builds uh, hearses. Okay. And this was to transfer the flowers to the to the graveyard. <laughs> wow. For really big funerals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. The big old Italian funerals. And a 59 Chevy, a 37 Chevy, a 41 to 47 Mercury. I can take my time here. I think most of the flower cars kind of, kind of like your cars are all one off. This yeah, is, when they yeah, built they, these, they built them all similar, but every year they were changed. Uh, Hearst, the roof would have kept going up. Yeah. And it wouldn't have boxed in. That but was they put the long door roof. in it. They didn't change it. But I don't know if these open or not. They're supposed to. This factory was up to about here. Well, that roof is well done, didn't you think? Yeah. It, it looks that, cool. Put that back window in there and, and get I, that round door. That's I think nice. that's a earlier of like a 50 Buick. Something like that. I'm sure you could make something stupendous out of it. Well, I want to, well, because the stainless is hard to work with. I want to change that's it. That's all cool right there from there. You know what I mean? Like, I want to change this to steel, and that way I can do the whole back thing there and make it like a delivery truck or something with the diesel that I've got over there in the van, a Duramax. You're not bothering nobody, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Your brain's too good to be bothering anybody. <laughs> this here, a 49 or a 50 yeah. shoebox Ford, a business coupe, yeah. and I've got a motorhome up front with a 460. I want to make a gas out of it. It would be crazy. It would be. I'm on, I'm on, your, see, I'm on your side. I'll get it running with the 460, and the guy who buys These it can put all the race car parts in the motor. Cars. This one has 27,000 miles on it. Wow. wow. And I, this one here, I just want to make it all original and just get it on the road and drive it. And in this one, I want to put a 4x4 four four chassis under it with a plow. <laughs> I just figure it'll be we cool. we got a plow truck for the rear. And now we can take three of your friends with you while you're plowing them. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I built four cars already. <laughs> <laughs> so you're coming back. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
This thing here don't look that bad, actually. The quarter panels. My brother rebuilt the carburetor. He's working on the gas tank, and then we're gonna hopefully try to start it this summer. Cool. If we don't run out of the summer. And you wonder why, you know, George Bear started using the doorknobs. Exactly. He basically did them in the uh, two-door secretary at uh, Mercury Meteor Wagon. Mm -hmm. I've got a 54 Meteor back there. I got because it's got a good French flip. It's entirely possible. So between the two, I should be able to make something. But a two-door wagon, you never pass up one of those. What? That's a, that's a Canadian one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Like what's the Mercury Meteor? How many of those made? I have no idea. Not many. I'm going to Google it. Now. I'm going to get Jolene to Google it. After she Googles me. Uh, 37 Nash uh, Lafayette. My, uh, my that is, that, that's right there. Didn't matter what brand. Mm -hmm. well, I know it's beat up, but it's savable. But one of my favorites from Ross. It's, it's a test. Idiotic. How good are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> work is cool. Well, I never did beautiful. very well in school. Yeah, but I know they gave you the wrong one test. My mother ever give me shit for <laughs> uh, I like your way of thinking. Up there's a 48. Well, if it was an American, it'd be a 48 Chev, but it's a rebadged as a Pontiac for Canada. But it's basically a 48 Chev. Then we have an International here that I want to make it, put it on a three-quarter ton, but put the transport wheels on it with the adapter, so I can lower it down and it'll still look like a big truck, but it'll be little. I wonder how many of those. I think you got me. Well, Canadian Fords around home are quite feasting. I did a. Uh, I worked on oh, one or two of them. You. And uh, yeah, well they will. Like one of 200. Just I, mean, I bet you're probably is this year that he, 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 like, I, I think the number's a little, a little bit higher. higher than that. But this is this would be comparable to a Nomad. Have you switched your brand of beer? But before the Nomad. Because really the Nomad for 5, 6, and 7. There you go. <laughs> well, just, just where it's Canadian. Do it every time. Yeah, it's, 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 it's called a ranch wing. Yeah. <laughs> ranch wing. Yeah. Ranch wing. Yeah. Which am I going now? Should be Ultra Rare. Yeah, that thing was. Yeah, I think so. You here don't get scratched on nothing. It's a little dangerous. Don't mind okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is mm -hmm. the part of the racket here. You might, you, you yeah. might get tetanus. This is where <laughs> damage can happen. 56 Ford, but I can't have a better than 56 Ford. I got the back. So I'm going to get it. But the guys are coming in. Yeah, why not? I would too. Not many. I have a place to keep it. Yeah. So, like I said, that'll be a donor cab and all. I need a set of front fenders, but they'll come along. Well, you get the back half. You get if you get the front half. Yep. Tailgates are always good for projects. Oh, here's the great for wall hangers. Nice with box sides for yeah. Joanne's truck. Yeah. There you go. Oh, guys, guys are on home and order buying all the tailgates up and they're making benches out of it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. A '48 Nash Airflake. I'm gonna slow down here. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> He's busy looking <laughs> at the garbage. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's not garbage. No. Okay. The. Uh, the saved uh, the stuff. project material. Yeah. This is why they call them bathtubs because they have no front fender wells. Very much uh, oh, wow. like a Nash. That's a just car. Cool. That's the other. It's a unibody car, so we had a hard time getting it out from where it was. It stretched a little bit. Yeah. The first one pulled right apart, so we were a little more careful with it. Joey's got me double fist in his car. <laughs> Yeah, but she's got you on, on film doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody started a project, they were going to yeah. make a four-door, and then they found out it was work, so it ended up here. Sometimes that happens, you know, like yep. you get one of your race cars there. Well, this is an old modified, yeah. and I put a, a 60 Falcon body on it, because a guy back in the 60s raced a car like this, so I'm going to paint it up to be a, um, a, tribute car. a tribute car to him. I couldn't right remember on. that word. I get there all the time. You even got some cool wheels hanging around. Those are cool. I like those. Mm -hmm. those, are, those are the steel backer rims, too. Like it's aluminum on top of steel. Yeah. Those They're the ones cool. that come apart. Yeah. On the highway yeah. at high speed. On the, oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. But yeah, we had a guy die cool. on the expressway here. Oh, wow. Is that yeah, back in the 70s. And the aluminum to the steel? Yeah, yeah Craig or SS. Or yeah, no, they were the ET. Yeah. Back in 68, my dad raced the stock car, and this is the car he yoked. He raced a 55 Pontiac four door sedan. Yeah. So I'm going to build another tribute and paint up like his car. The big heavy and tough as now. <laughs> this is our just miscellaneous parts. People come here and go shopping. And <laughs> they need a bumper, they need a fender, and well, this is where we look. Wow. 
my buddy's got a full set of Essex doors, like a 23 Essex, yeah. they're aluminum. The dealer, each dealer got one car with aluminum doors because the car's lighter and it drove faster. So they'd sell more cars. Yeah. Be right. very careful, careful going through here. Stainless on that one would be nice. Kevin, do you want to oh, yeah. some of this moss? Yeah. <laughs> I used to wipe my ass with that when I was a kid. Yeah. When I was in, in yeah, the woods, right? Make sure there's no right? bugs in it. <laughs> I never thought of that. When I was a kid, I never did either. No. <laughs> okay, this is a 48 Chrysler Windsor. Yeah. I have two of them. The other one's got a front clip for it. Yeah. And they're both business goods. They're, they're, they're a nice big car. I also have a Dodge V10. I like the bumpers on them. Yeah. I figure I put a Dodge V10 in here and put a straight axle in it. Who's ever seen that big of a car as a as a well, gas? That'd be kind of cool. Well, I had three or four of them. Yeah. Back there is a 41 Fargo. Been relegated to parts because I sold the box off of it because it was a box like this. And the guy offered me so much money for it that I said, okay. Now, Anything what my plan for that is, is sale. on this well, we Nissan Frontier, it's got a well, supercharged V6 truck. in it. And it's four-wheel drive. Just so if I put sounds. that body on here, I'll have a winter Fargo and a summer Fargo. I I you gotta love his logic. Yeah, have a far gone. <laughs> Supercharged. Yeah. 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 I had one, but it was a four door when I was 16. Car we in the yard and Joanne saw it and claimed it. So she wants to build that, but she wants to learn how to build cars by building that and selling it. Then she can build her own. Yeah. What do you want to do? This is the Duramax van. I have the drive paint for that flower car. Okay. Why not? Eh? That's the flower car in disguise. And just the parts car. There's another yeah. XJ6. You got a Studebaker there. Another Studebaker Hawk. There's a Studebaker there. This one's a 28 Buick. It needs some work. I wouldn't have recognized that one. It's <laughs> it, it needs a little polishing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah. this is a 31 Studebaker Presence. What, uh, what's your chassis on top there of the car? 48 Ford. 48 Ford. I kind of recognize that. And the 50 Ford over there, I sold that. Okay. I bought it, and I bought this, and I bought that blue cab over there. And I sold that one truck for, to pay for it all. It just worked out. Wait, we're taking time. This one here, I was either going to take and make, remake this, uh, this side of the car, that kind of medieval theme, you know, yeah. uh, old wood and uh, hand forged steel and everything, and some chain mail and stuff, and then leave the other side stock. Well, my buddy who does the sheet metal says it'd be an interesting challenge for him to rebuild this whole complete side and mm, leave the other side. Yeah, a very big there challenge. That would be a challenge. <laughs> Well, oh yes, yeah, so I have a Corvette. Got the diamond mm -hmm. We're not going to have the time because we've been taking <laughs> jobs on. It was next to something that burnt and it wasn't insured, so I got to get a deal on it. Chassis still there, is it not? And the motor and transmission. There you go. The motor and transmission <coughs> is going to go into that 60 Lark out there. Yeah, I like this too. Yeah, 52, I believe. Two or three. Yeah, a Commander. Yeah. And in that green thing there is a 54 Dodge van, like I've never seen before. It's we're we're going to get to it, are we? Yep, we'll go around and get to it. The back door rolls up and down. And it's wooden. There's more, there's more cars here in this dooryard than there is in Nova Scotia. <laughs> <laughs> They're harder to get to Nova Scotia. They are harder to get to Nova Scotia. They're few and far between. They find me. Is that how it goes? Now this here is a nice panel truck. My plan that is to make a cool. maple leaf hood and put it on here and make a maple leaf panel. Okay. That'd be super cool. 38 Chevy. Oh, there they are. Really sweet. Yeah, the metal guys here. Okay. And his girlfriend. <laughs> and this is a 29 Chrysler four door that somebody was chopping down to make a truck. Well, I've got another one up there that somebody did a better job. But during the gas wars back yeah. in the day, the yeah. trucks would get a more bigger gas ration. So they take the back of it and bring it up here and just screw it into place. It makes a pickup truck. <laughs> there you go. I need to paint that fridge up. Straight axles? Yeah, and a Camaro front clip. 
Yeah, yeah. But I, yeah, I, I, I know what These are the parts for that Galaxy. What, 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 this is the Galaxy four yeah. speed? Yep. Yeah. Or an automatic. He gave me both. I want to. Don't sit on that. You know what I know is that can get that up my own. Cracker Jack, it wouldn't be very heavy, would I? A 60 Falcon wagon. The idea for this is to build a frame for it. I put a pin in there so you can put a pin slick in it. So right down to the left. Going right across Canada now. Oh, they gave me a free phone in both. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah. It's happening in BC. Get yourself some car. You're talking about me. You want that now, do you? Yeah, just a sip. Let's keep watching these guys here and see if we get that up to yours. <laughs> oh, yeah. 57 Studebaker pickup. Old guy coming through, Don. Yeah. Studebaker head. Okay. It's called a stupid baker. There's the grill expense. 66 Beetle. 38 Buick. 29 Beetle. 31 Chev. He's just telling me names and numbers. He doesn't even know. I'm accepting it. Look. <laughs> 31 Chevy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could have written 47 Ford on there and you would have said, okay. I know the difference between that. That's a nice headlight. There's a the Mercury panel there. That's a 48. Hi. Yeah. Right. This is another car. Okay, I bought it. Put it in the garage, started all the parts. Screwed up the quarter panel on it. And two years later, the wife says, get it to fuck my life. I, I saw the thing. So what? The white car? The white car? Yeah. yeah. That was Joe. This even a big hole in the guy had a wood stove. He probably towed it behind his grate or something. And was grading the roads and when he's done for the day he'd pull over and he goes like There you go. And this is an all original Toyota with a 5.3 <laughs> Chevy in it. Yeah. And a Muncie four speed. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get that out. <laughs> and then here's the other Nash air flight that broke up when we pulled it out. Yeah. Like that on there, or even what is that? There's stuff in there. <laughs> yeah, there's that. Let's stick up the other side of the road for those. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's, <laughs> there's more. There's more. <laughs> but wait. <laughs> Sounds like one of those infants. Yeah, really. I saw one the other day that the kid inherited his grandpa's split window Volkswagen and it hurt. It's kind The window out and cut the post down. Oh, oh man. Man. This stuff was all in the back of the truck over there. I picked it up with this and it broke it in half. So I don't know. It's on the ground. It's easier to sort. It's pretty well sorted. I like your forklift. It's, it lifts 30,000 pounds. It, when I build my That's sheds, the we want. I build the shed in the driveway, I fill <laughs> it up, and then I move the sheds. <laughs> it's cool. Hey, did you ever try this thing going in slump? We got three of them. Okay. It's not easy. Right. Oh no. So the sea cans are going to go here yeah, and the there. Kids are and I'm going to build the building in between. That's what I'm just working on. I know you want the kids to come, but they're not coming. I'm sorry. Okay. I got two coffins in there. Because you want something to play with. Yeah. A wooden one that I bought at a fundraiser. I brought across the border. That was kind of interesting. Come on. I plan to make a beer cooler. Yeah. Open the lid and there's your beer. Well, then I got a metal one. So I'm going to build a barbecue out of the other one. So I'll be all set up. Yes, he is slightly twisted. You say that like it's a bad thing. Oh, I'm not saying it like it's a bad thing. Saying it is fact. Here's the Victoria Inn. Don, one of your children escaped. He, built, he rebuilds strandings. He's, okay. he's, he's, he teaches it at the college. Can you hold that again? Which one? The tallest one. Okay. The back there. 53 Merc pickup. Probably and that's why I have the uh, Crown Victoria over there, because that's oh, yeah. actually everything I'm going to put under here. <laughs> and there's where the V10 is in the back there. Yeah. Now this here really is, covers, covers, really covers. is a 1927 Nash Coupe. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a coupe he's going to make it into a roadster. It's gonna be a cool little hot rod. And no weight to it, of course. Is okay. that the first Patrick's one you're doing? Toy <coughs> <top. coughs> oh. <coughs> Yeah, the bugs are starting to come out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was 60 or 68 to 72 Chevy. Friend of mine. Parts for my Jag that I'll show you. Get out of here. Yep, go ahead. And I've got three 34 Chevys. Yeah, 33, 34. They're all pretty well the same. 
They're over here. <laughs> I've got a... These fenders, Jaguar? Yes. I, I started building one a few years ago, but it's stalled out. I haven't okay. got back to it. I kind of, I'll save it for the end of the tour. <laughs> got the bow housings there. Got the hood there. Long leaf fenders there. Yep. Wow. This here's a, uh, there's the doors for the Jag. Okay. okay. Yeah. This is a 53 Dodge Mayfair. Yep. My wife used to play in it as a child. Mm -hmm. So, I figure I'll do something with it. Yeah, that two or three of them. I'm not sure of the year. But it's got a supercharged 3.8. Okay. I'll use that. You got some fun sheet metal here. Yeah. Well, I say that because it's wider than the metric car. Something more tailored or a Yeah, I've got a, a five window coupe and a two door sedan. Yeah. Now the coupe has long doors. So that's and the, no, coupe has short doors and the sedan has long doors. Yeah. So I'm going to put the long doors on this the coop. Yard like this room. <laughs> Not this extravagant. He's got a little junk pile, but nothing like this. I want to build them both together. And this then would I've got be his dream. <laughs> the Impala. The chassis are a little bit wider than the metric cars. Yeah. So depending on what I need for width, it was free to a good home. Okay. <laughs> this little, this little bus here. I call it the turd van. It's the turd van. You don't take your buddy. You don't take your buddy with. You think you would look? <laughs> Mustang shifter in it. Who's going in the window? I don't know. Me it's got either. a 289 carbureted in it. I, I got to look at that. That thing in the window. Who is it? What is it? That's Bugs Bunny. There you go. Well, <laughs> the guy just got his face smashed in. That's all. Built, the guy who built this, his name was Bunny Macero. Well, there you go. And they, 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 they just had his funeral this week. And guess what his race car number was? Yeah. So now you got another curb vehicle you got to build. No, Russ has already got his race car. He repainted it and took it to his funeral. That's the other Chrysler Windsor. Yeah. Cool. Jaguar. That's the one I want well, the suspension on for that. Yeah. Rambler. Now a friend of mine has another one, so I'm going to buy it to put it under the 60 student car. Gotcha. There's a sprint car chassis from Stevie Smith. And there's the two Fargos Joanne bought. Okay. That one body's on backwards. And then that's my 53 chassis. Gotcha. And that's about it. Got some fun sheet metal here, that's for sure. Lots to play with. Oh man. Yeah, the hard part for this one is the trunk smash. I only have one trunk. Yeah, I'm gonna get Joe back out. Just be you go. The sheet metal mess. Yep. Now we've got one more car to look at. It's over by the other. Hey, yeah. Yeah, we got one of those. Hey, Joe. I got three of cabs. How you doing, Joe? Jolene. Jolene. Hi. My mother's name. Oh, cool. <laughs> awesome. Who's ever pitched off a log in a log? I pitched off a few just in case. You don't want to get tanked off. Watch that rut there. Yeah, that that rut caught me. This thing is here. I want to get rid of all that. Fall it over here. And then I want to put that back on top of the statue. Give me my yard. Well, it's funny you say that. I have a young a young fellow at home. You're gonna run out of gas. Oh, you're full. I got the biggest amount. I've got some parent cars over home. Because I want to... Pardon me? You guys going to the show? Uh, yeah, for a while. Yeah, it's street legal. I just want to get it. No. Well, I, I'm, I don't know if I'm over street legal or not. But I don't know where I'm going. I'm not going to waste the, the motor home. I want to get the engine and the chassis and all that stuff. You know? We bought that because my buddy wanted the 440. Well, <laughs> I'm talking kind of 40 and 40. They didn't have to get into it. Now, this is my strategy. I just got it.
Yeah, that's sold too. Is it? Yeah, the guy who brings the car with it. Oh. All future projects is up for two of them. It wasn't bad. Bunch of ten. Mm. We did invite a lot of people, but enough showed up that made a bit. And the kids invited their ball team, which never brings a dish to pass. So. What kind of seats are in the Chevy cab there? Ah, I'm not sure. They they're came nice. with it. They're nice. Yeah, they could use a real bolster on that. The frames look good. This is the truck that broke the fixed one. And then it's not turning it Okay, this one's the day. But it needs a little explaining. It's got that's an XJ6 chest. Okay. With a V12 in it. She slid this down over top. Right. But see, I had to cut into the unibody structure, so I just yeah. replaced it. It's a four-inch. I figured yeah. that'll keep you safe. Now the one problem I have with it is the wheels are seven inches closer to the windshield. And you know that big space on the fender? Yeah. Going. How do I get rid of that without having a big nose hanging over the front? And it's a tapered hood and tapered fenders, so I'm going to rely on Joe to shrink that front end a little bit to make it all work. And then the well, chassis, hey, Chad, a stock <laughs> XJ6. We, we, you see our Jag? Uh -huh. Yeah, you bet. I've been yeah. watching that a yeah. lot. We got it. We got it sort of looking good. It looks like it's chopped too, doesn't it? Hard. <laughs> <laughs> like something stepped on it. Yeah. I got. I got a 52 Ford that's chopped, but nobody knows it's chopped till I tell them because it's very, very small. Okay. I, I like to chop a car so you know. <laughs> Obviously, yeah, I, I see that. Yeah. <laughs> this here would be cool because you see where the stock rockers are. They're yeah. going to rub the ground bad. So I'm probably going to, right under the doors, flatten them out and come back up and make them strong enough that if I high side it, I can still uh, yeah, pinch the door shut. I have no <laughs> idea. Years but I've worked on this at the other house and we moved here and I haven't got back to work on it. 50, ours is a 59. It's 53. It's 53. Oh, wow. Yeah. You wouldn't think they're that old. They had disc brakes on them and everything, did they yeah. not? That, Independent rear suspension that? now. Because yeah. I got the, 80, the 88 XJ6. I had, yeah. But see, with that rear end in there, I've got the white one that's a spare. Yeah. And the front suspension can come out, as you know, nice and simple. So that's stuff I can put into Anything. other cars. Yeah. And I, I like the V12. That's why I got the XJS because it's got a V12 as as parts. Yeah. Because if something goes wrong with this, I don't have to wait for some something to come from England. I'll just take it off that. Are you putting the Jag motor in the Jag, or are you putting that in Jolene's Bugatti? Jolene's Bugatti. We got we got messed up on our engine. That we. Yeah, I remember you had yeah. one bad one, huh? We had one bad one, and uh, we decided that we're going to do the engine that we had in that. I guess it's an XJ6 or whatever it's called. Oh, yeah. I usually don't know the names of most of them Jags. Yeah. I don't read either. But we're going to use the engine for Joey's car, and I'm going to use I use the front end for the Jag that we built. I'm going to see the chop. The Jag is wired by the Prince of Darkness. Luke is selected. I mean, the first intermittent wiper blade. Not on purpose. Okay. <laughs> he made yeah, a big mistake. Well, yeah, he didn't make them on purpose. On purpose, he just put that's, that's a cool car. A 60 Studebaker large. That's yeah. where the XJ6 stuff is going to go under, and then the Corvette motor can. That's a cute little car. Be a good little track car. Okay. It's almost glory going in. Uh, Richard Rawlings bought that for me. <laughs> he did. Okay. I had a. I was on eBay one night, and I made an ARP, an alcohol-related purchase. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna ask. <laughs> I bought a '64 Studebaker wagon with a retractable top on it mm -hmm. for nine hundred and ten dollars. In Tucson, Arizona. The guy says you got 10 days to get off my property. So I, a girl that I knew through Facebook, who I'd never met in person, I called her up and said, can I drop a car off in your yard? She says, I guess so. For how long? I said, well, a month. Okay, a month's good. Was this all during the drunkness? No. This is the next day when I found out I won it. <laughs> 
So. Oh, you are Canadian. <laughs> it was the next day when it was. Uh oh. Yeah. I got to make some arrangements now. So then we. That's when we drove down to Vegas the second or third time, and we went to the Rat City Ruckus. She joined us at the Rat City Ruckus in Vegas at Easter time, and then coming back, our friends from New Mexico had a flatbed. We picked the, the car up and put it on the flatbed. He took it to his place in New Mexico. He said you can leave there as long as you want. A friend of mine has a, a winter home in Phoenix, and he had his car trailer he wanted to bring back here. The guy who hired you. So I, he asked me if I could figure out how to get his trailer back. I said, well, if I can put a car on it, yeah, I, I can figure out how to get it back. back. He said, sure, no problem. My brother and my wife drove to Las Vegas. I flew in there. We went to the Rat City Ruckus. We went to Phoenix, picked up the trailer. We went to New Mexico, picked up the Studebaker wagon. And then we're heading to the Gulfport, Mississippi for the atomic blast. And then the idea is to drop me off in New Orleans, so I fly home, and then they drive home with the car. Well, between New Mexico and Mississippi is Dallas, Texas. Hey, let's stop and buy some gas monkey, monkey stuff. We're going right by there. Yeah. We do that. We're stashing all the stuff in the truck, and this big black van pulls up, and the whole crew jumps out of the truck. Well, Richard comes and walks around the car. And, you want to sell the car? I, I told him three times, it's not for sale. And then he walks around, and he stops next to my brother. He says, how much do you want for the car? So my brother said six grand. He walked around one more time. He says, I'll give you five grand cash. Well, convert it to, convert it to Canadian. That's a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> it paid for our whole trip. So I shook his hand and we unloaded the car. So the next day I bought this from Kingman, Arizona. My friend from Oklahoma just happened to be there. He picked it up and brought it to Oklahoma. Now the plan was they were going to stop in Oklahoma and grab this, bring it up to Minnesota so we had time to get the paperwork done. Well, then I was online again. <laughs> and Justin Nichols from the TV show Rich, yeah. he was selling an eight-foot brake. So I bought that. We made a deal, I bought that. They left the car in Oklahoma and they went to Indiana, picked up the brake and brought it home. That's in the small shop. And then this eventually made it up to, Mono to Wisconsin and then we went and picked it up. And we played tour. <laughs> and this well, is all on Richard's money. And this is just in a day's work. Yeah. Like, that like I said, I don't chase these things, it just cars. happens sometimes. I mean, not get, no, because the, the shipping would be so it's much more. Right? Yeah, you all gotta be there. Stuff. You gotta be there. Yeah, I'm, I'm just local stuff. I would never, I don't want to say never, because you know what never turns into. You yeah. never know. You know <laughs> I never buy anything more than a thousand kilometers away. Yeah. Yeah. Except for odd days. And yeah. <laughs> two ton mark. Basically, I want it for the, the cabin. I figure I gotta keep moving. The, the, the mosquitoes yeah, gonna carry me away. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they get nasty. They do get hungry. And they Did get they bigger. Get hungry? No, oh, out yeah. back. They got big teeth? Yeah, no, no, they just bite. <laughs> if you play them right, you can make a meal of them. There you go. Out back, I've got two 48 Fords, yeah. a four door sedan, and then a two door coupe that somebody tried to pick up with a tractor. Yeah. So the, the coupe is yeah, all bent like this. Yeah. I want to cut the roof off it, go all the way around. Bring the quarter panel back where it's supposed to be, but then there's that much room between the door and the quarter. I want to get rid of that and make it an open two-seater with a very small spot behind the seat. I just figured that would be a lot better. There's a door by the fire for a second. Actually, do what? You get carried away, sweetheart? Do what? You guys need deep woods, all that? Yep. Oh, yeah. A Hudson suicide door rumble seat coupe with three grills. With three grills, yeah. <laughs> uh, just, just the roof alone. Yeah, That's and cool. it's not—it's not a sunroof. Yeah. It's just the way they made it. Yeah. My plan is to urethane that in so that it seals and everything. Because it'll just be—I can see it being a bit of a problem. But Joanne claimed it. It's her car. Looks Doesn't it? That's dropped more than my Ford truck. Yeah. And it's not well, a lot of the off-brands did that to get people's attention, to look more modern. No, it's 
Now, here's all these sheds we're building. The idea is to turn them into an 1870s mining town with a side wooden sidewalk in front. That way, when everyone backs in for Friday night with, with their cool cars, they can take pictures and look cool. There I'm going to go. put hanging off roofs on all of them. It's just it's a work in progress. Going for it. Yep. Last you year have a dream, got, you can't come true. Last year we got 15 loads of gravel in here, so that helped the yard. Like they're working on about five at a time, right? Yeah. How long does it take you to do repair? Um, I guess it depends on how I, I get exotic you get with the build. Probably four months if I went at it. Yeah. You know, to paint it and to do the whole thing. In Fargo, yeah. I was working 40 hours a week. And I built if, I had, if I had a team, I could do every 35 yeah. days. I was working 40 hours a week and I built it in five hours. Okay. They got deep yeah. roofs. They're driving on roofs. Well, basically, I try to paint them yeah. and knock them yeah. down. Yeah. But you're also working more, you're not working a 40 hour side job. No. <laughs> you, you mentioned that Jim's really good at painting cars with a brush. Yes. As long as you wet sand them out, you get them to paint your race car with a brush. I think so. Yeah. Rolls Royces used to be painted so, with a brush. So, what does he do well, he, he, to make it good with a brush? Um, he, well, he'll probably explain it to you <laughs> while he's doing it. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you gotta paint into the paint. You can't stick your paint in the brush or stick your brush in the paint and then pull because it leaves a mark. Right. So you gotta paint backwards. So, something he told me before, but and paint backwards. If you wet sand afterwards, it's fine. Oh, yeah. That 66 is all painted with the brush. But he knows how to do it without getting brush marks. Right. He, See, I was I was thinking when when you said that, what I was thinking is he must know exactly how much thinner to put in that paint so it runs out perfect yeah. without running. Well, he's, he has no, a Studebaker no, truck that's absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah. brush painted. And when the he brush paints that thing every month. It came in like three or four different colors every month. It's a different color, and it looked awesome. Like he does he use car paint? He uses anything, latex, car paint, whatever, don't matter. As soon as the brushes hit the, the vehicle, that's when it leaves the mark. Yeah. But it doesn't leave the mark when you come off, right. just when you hit it. So that's why you always got to paint. Yeah, he, paint. He's got a, he, he does it somewhere. He's got a knack to it. He's got a knack to it. And he said he can paint a car. And, and, and anything can be sanded up. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, we probably wouldn't sand it up. Stuff. <laughs> we probably, we'd probably just leave it that way. But okay. I'd just like to get him to do it. Another thing I really appreciate is your $34 spray gun. <laughs> yeah. You know, I I, I, pay, uh, I hit a deer last year with my daily driver. Yeah. So I bought the parts. All my garages were full. Yeah. So I fixed it outside. I painted it outside everything. So I, I put a picture on Facebook and I said, when the hot rod's in the garage, you gotta fix the daily driver outside, right? So now I got two of my buddies. What kind of gun are you using? I think I paid 35 bucks for this gun at <laughs> Princess Auto. I don't know what kind it is. It's made in China. Yeah. Well, does the paint turn out okay? I said it turns out fine. No problem. That's all we, you know. Yeah. I was, I was for buying thousand dollar guns, and then and then I got a friend who owns a body shop. Well, you got to have some pretty nice stuff when you're doing insurance job. Yeah. Body he replaces his guns every three or four years. And we're talking thousands of dollars. Yeah. Nice. You like, I mean, if you're looking to paint an old car, you can paint, I, I paint just as well as with a $34 I, gun as I can a exactly. $2,000 gun. Right. And if you're sanding it down and buffing it, what, what does it matter if you're using a $10 gun? <laughs> well, that's right, basically. basically. Yeah. But uh, it doesn't matter to me. Like, I mean, no. I, and I still, I still use some old, some old siphon tube guns. And, and, and I don't, and I don't clean them that well. I so for so I messed up on my laptop. So, so yeah. So for me, a thirty-four dollar gun is in my my realm. You know what I mean? So if you mess it up, you put it in the garbage. Yeah, yeah. Go buy another one. And, and for me, I can charge one every paint job. I mean, done.